Hello there and welcome to this video which is looking at the pH scale and what the pH actually measures and tells us. So the first thing it's important to know is what the pH actually measures and that is the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions in any solution. So if we have a look at the pH scale that you guys will be familiar with from key stage 3, we've got pH of 7 which is neutral. If we go above that between 7 and 14 we get up to an alkali and then if we go below, so from 7 down to 0, so anything below 7 is an acid. And as a quick recap from the first video, alkalis are substances that have OH ions in them and acids are substances that have H plus ions in them. So as we go between 7 and 14 it becomes more alkaline and as we go between 7 and 0 it becomes more acidic. Right, we have five questions I'd like you to have a go at then. They should all be fairly straightforward now. So, number one, what is the pH of an acid? Number two, what is the pH of an alkali? Number three, what happens to the solution if the pH goes from four to two? Number four, what happens to the solution if the pH goes from nine to eight? And then number five, what are acids and alkalis made up of? So please pause the video now, have a go at the questions, write them down, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through. So question one, what is the pH of an acid? You could have got any number between zero and six. Make sure you don't put seven, because obviously that's neutral. Question two, the pH of an alkali is anything between eight and 14. Question three, what happens to the solution if the pH goes from four to two? It's going down, therefore it's becoming more acidic. Question four, what happens to the solution if the pH goes from nine to eight? This isn't becoming more alkaline it's not becoming more acidic, it's becoming less alkaline. And then finally for question five, what are acids and alkalis made up of? Acids are H plus ions and alkalis are OH minus for your two marks. Hopefully that was all straightforward. If it was, have a go at the review question, which is describe how the pH changes between zero and 14. So in this question, talk about what the pH is between zero and seven, what it is at seven and what it is then above 7 and up to 14. And that ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnsdc.com, and Facebook and Twitter.